The hot topic at the national governor's meeting in Washington this weekend? The U.S. economy and the president's new stimulus package. Democratic governors are applauding the legislation. If we're going to be able to beat back the challenges from Asia and Europe, we need to <coughs> step forward boldly. For us, we have the highest unemployment rate in the nation. Our economy has been battered like no other state because of the contraction in the auto industry. And so for us, this is um, a way really to stop the slide and help to see an uptick in an economy that really, really needs it. Republicans, however, are split. Well, obviously, I'm very supportive of the stimulus plan. It helps Florida uh, significantly, $12.2 billion. Uh, that's an enormous amount that will help us with infrastructure, education, uh, health care. I am going to not take all the money because of the requirement under the unemployment insurance compensation section would uh, force us to raise taxes when the federal money runs out. For the most part, however, Republicans are downplaying the split. Well, for many governors, this isn't the bill we would have designed, so it's not our bill, so to speak, uh, but it is now the law. So we have the responsibility and the opportunity to implement it. And in Minnesota's case, we're a major net contributor to the federal government, so we're going to take our slice of the money and put it to good use. Democratic Governors Association Chairman Brian Schweitzer of Montana and Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley dismissed GOP detractors as fringe Republicans eager to score political points. But that line drew a rebuke from South Carolina's Republican Governor Mark Sanford, who said the real fringe are those who support the stimulus. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.